the weather because in that picture you could see just an incredible day back here. Yeah, and it was sort of the tale of two days, mm -hmm. right, Eric? I mean, this morning it was gray just about everywhere, a little, little showery, and then it became beautiful. Yeah, tough to get out of bed this morning early on with all that cloud cover, cool start, then the sun coming in, gorgeous afternoon, really nice evening shaping up. And here's what we're watching the next couple of days. Summer's back for about mm, 12 hours. Tomorrow we'll get close to 80, and then a very cool air mass moves in tomorrow night and Friday, and that will be here until Saturday morning. The remnants from Harvey will arrive Saturday night into Sunday morning with a chance for some showers and rainfall there. And then we're warming up again on Labor Day itself. That's going to be our best beach day of this upcoming holiday weekend. So here's the big picture. Harvey starting to move a little faster off to the north and east, taking that heavy rain out of the Houston and Beaumont areas. Our nor'easter, which clipped the region this morning, moving offshore with it. A lot of wind earlier on in the day. Got about an inch of rain on Cape Cod and almost two inches of rain on Nantucket. It's cooler there in the 60s near the shore. Inland areas got well up into the 70s, about five degrees cooler than average for this time of the year. Big wave heights just offshore. That ocean is rocking. Large North Atlantic storm and still some big breakers coming in along the national seashore and down toward Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket tonight. High surf advisory stays up until 8 o'clock and then that will drop out. So tonight's temperatures, mid 50s, mainly clear skies. Gonna be a nice cool night, very comfortable. And then tomorrow Tomorrow morning, we'll start the day with sunshine. We're watching a cold front tomorrow. This one doesn't have a lot of moisture to work with, so a couple of spotty showers early afternoon into the early evening. Most towns will stay dry. Any rain would be very brief. This front is more about a change in air mass, going from warm temps to a feel of October by the time we wake up on Friday morning. So tomorrow's highs before the fronts get into the low 80s in southeastern Mass, much cooler to southwestern New Hampshire and central Massachusetts, that front arriving there first and bringing in those northwesterly winds. So it'll get very brisk and breezy as we head toward the evening. It's a nice start to kick off for the Patriots tomorrow night. But by the fourth quarter, we're into the upper 50s to around 60. So plan on that being breezy and getting cooler out there. Then on Friday, we stay stuck in the 60s. It's a nice day. It's just going to be like Columbus Day weekend. 60s, sunshine, northwesterly breeze, really dry air. By Saturday morning, there may be some upper 30s in southern New England in the coldest pockets. And we'll have a nice rebound, a dry day into the low 70s. And then Harvey's remnants move in Saturday night and Sunday. I'm hopeful right now that the clouds will start to break apart. The rain will move out on Sunday afternoon, and so we'll get a brighter second half of the day. And then we're into the southwesterlies on Labor Day, and that's going to bring the warmer air back. So here's a look at the Labor Day weekend. Again, really cool on Friday and Saturday morning. A dry, pleasant day on Saturday. Sunday, the best chance of rain is in the first half of the day. And then Labor Day Monday itself is up near 84 degrees. Not too bad at all. Nice way for the unofficial... Ugh, end of summer, start of fall. 80s early next week, though. It's going to feel like summer out there. And then another rain chance on Wednesday. David and Lisa, back to you. All right. That's a lovely forecast. <laughs> Thank you.